Hello, beautiful people. Welcome once again to Abinasia's Recipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I share with you my homemade butter bread. I know you will love it. Let's get right into the ingredients. I have here bread flour, evaporated milk, salt, nutmeg, one egg, butter. I have my sugar, vanilla extract, two pack of active rice, and I have two cups of water. I've measured six cups of bread flour. I'll go ahead and add my active dry yeast. I'm adding both packets. There's two packets here and I'll add all of it and then I'll give it a mix. Once that is mixed, I'll go ahead and add in my sugar, my salt, nutmeg, and then I give it a mix. And that will be all for my dry ingredients. I'll go ahead and set that on the side. Now let's mix our wet ingredients. So in a cup here, I have two cups of water. I'll then add a half a cup of evaporated milk, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I will give it a mix. That is it for our wet ingredients. All right, so now we've moved over to my stand mixer. I'll go ahead and use my stand mixer to stir my dry ingredients just for about a minute. And then whilst it is stirring, I'll go ahead and gradually add my wet ingredients. I'm not adding everything at once, I'm gradually adding it. And once my wet ingredients is added to my dry ingredients, I'll then wait for everything to mix very well together before I come in with my butter. Now my butter is a room temperature butter, yes. I made it sit out for it to soften. So you need a softened butter for this recipe. And then I'm gradually adding my butter to my dough. Now it is time to knead my dough, but I am not using my hands today, guys. If you're using your hands to knead the dough, you would have to knead for about 10 to 15 minutes to get that sticky, perfect, and good looking dough. But being that I'm using my stand mixer, I am mixing it for about five to seven minutes. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe, like, and comment. Hit that notification so anytime I upload, you will be notified. And a warm welcome to my new subscribers. I thank you all and I welcome you to the family. God bless you. All right, so my dough is very well mixed now and I mixed it for about seven minutes. So I went ahead on a clean surface. I floured my surface and then I went ahead to put my dough on my surface. And what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a final knead. I'm using the hip of my palm to knead the dough. And I'll be doing this just for about a minute or two just to get a nice and smooth and beautiful dough. Yes, if your dough is sticky, please flour your surface and you should get a very nice and comfortable dough. Now we'll go ahead and cover the dough just right there. We don't need to put in a container just right there for about 10 minutes. Yes, 10 to 15 minutes, just leave the dough to rest. I went ahead and melted some butter and then I am buttering my baking pan. And then I'll sprinkle a little bit of my bread flour inside of my baking pan just to make it easy for me to take out the bread when it is done baking. This step is very important. All right, and then we'll make sure to spread everything out very nicely. So whilst your dough is resting for 10 to 15 minutes, it is best to take care of your baking pan, yes. And our dough has rested for 15 minutes. So I'll then go ahead and flour it a little bit more Yes, just on top of it, and then we will just knit it just for about a minute again. We use the hip of the palm to knit. If you don't have a bread mixer, this is how you be knitting until you get a nice and smooth dough. Now I will use my pizza cutter to cut my dough into three pieces. Yes, and I didn't weigh my dough. You can weigh your dough to get equal dough it is okay if you don't weigh it, yes. 
So I'll use my rolling pin to roll it out very nicely because we'll be rolling it into a log type of shape. And then I will use my hands to roll it very nicely into a log. Once I'm done rolling, I'll then go ahead and pinch the end part of it into the dough just like that. And we will just roll it over just to get it very nice and smooth and it goes into our baking pan guys and i didn't actually measure this but it fit inside the baking pan very easily and guys you can use any baking pan of choice you don't have to go out and buy any one just use whatever you have at home and with this bread you can even make it into rolls so you can cut it in small pieces and bake it as a roll it is for all type of shapes yes so we'll do the second one just like that as well we roll and roll into a log and then we pinch it at the end just to get it sealed and then we'll roll over it very nicely and then it goes into our baking pan and the last one i will use my pizza cutter to cut it in three pieces i want to be a bit creative <laughs> okay so i'll use my rolling pin just to roll over it and then we'll create a very small log, making sure that it is short enough to fit inside the baking pan. Okay, and we'll do the same for the other two. Now it is time to leave our dough to rise and double in size. And that should take between 45 to one hour in a very warm place. And my oven is the warmest place in the house. Guys, I'm not gonna turn my oven on. It would just be in the oven for 45 to one hour to rise. Do not turn your oven on for the rising process. Okay, so I'll cover with aluminum foil to let that rise, or you can cover with a dumb cloth. So it's been 45 to one hour, and my dough has risen very beautifully, and it rose very fast look at how amazing it looks and my oven was preheated at 325 degrees and i baked my bread for 25 to 35 minutes and guys i present to you my homemade butter bread looking delicious and amazing and you can also insert a toothpick inside your bread and when it comes out clean that means your bread is well baked and please remove your bread as soon as it comes out from the baking pan to prevent sweating yes you don't want any soggy fresh bread my bread has cooled down guys so i'm ready to show you guys the inside of my butter bread this is my homemade recipe guys and i hope you try it and give me a feedback it's very easy it's very simple and look at how beautiful and amazing the bread is looking look at how soft and fluffy the inside looks guys i am so happy with how this bread came out and trust me it did not last for two days i'm going ahead to cut the whole loaf of bread for everyone to see how the inside looks yes guys and that looks awesome and amazing and look at how the slice also looks it looks beautiful and perfect and then now look at how the inside is so 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 good and this is my homemade butter bread guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you for staying until this time please like comment subscribe share hit that notification so anytime i upload you'll be notified god bless you and please stay safe bye guys <laughs>